In 2017, a company called Brady Industries promised to build a new aluminum mill in Boyd County, bringing hundreds of jobs to the area. Nearly three years later, there's no mill, but there are a lot of questions about whether this project will actually happen, and today, lawmakers wanted answers. LEX 18 political reporter Carolina Buchek has that story. Three years ago, Brady Industries promised hundreds of new high-paying jobs in their new aluminum mill, leaving people in northeastern Kentucky hopeful. That's a wage you can support a family on, uh, and that's what we need in this area. Uh, you know, we've got a lot of hardworking folks, a lot of dedicated folks, and uh, they just look for opportunities like this. But nearly three years later, there's still no mill. So Kentucky, which invested about $15 million into it, wanted answers. And lawmakers say they've been trying to get some, but haven't had much luck. So last week, a demand was set. With the um, ongoing confusion surrounding that project and the investment of taxpayer dollars, it is imperative that they will be here next Tuesday. So that brings us to today, the deadline. Brady Industries came, showed lawmakers a video of what the mill will look like, and reassured them that they're ready to build it. Our team has been working for over two years now on putting together the design of the mill, and, and we are just finalizing the very last details of it, and so uh, we feel like we are ready to move forward, and we are a shovel-ready project. But... Do they have the money to do it? How much more money do you need to raise? We need 500 million. And how much do you have on hand currently? Uh, on a consolidated basis, on hand today, we probably have 65. So Brady Industry says it needs 435 million more by the end of the year. Know, we, we and their CEO believes the they'll get it done. Uh, we are focused, laser focused every day we wake up to make sure this facility gets built. That's our focus. We don't think about a plan B. And if they don't, lawmakers say the company will owe the state some money. There are contractual terms that Kentucky gets that 15 million back plus interest. So I think you'll see the legislature go to Brady Industries if they're not successful and say that we want the taxpayer money back with interest. In Frankfort, Carolina Buchuk, LEX 18 News.